you know how having a mobile banking app on your phone makes it easy for you to transfer money to people within the country to pay bills and to do small do some other stuff you don't have to go to the bank to start filling forms in order to pay bills or in order to transfer money to someone else today we are going to be understanding what a broker is what is it what is the function of a broker and how do you choose a broker when you want to start trading how do you get a very good and reliable broker we're going to be discussing about this today and i hope you guys will enjoy the lesson sit back and enjoy so before i head on the, the name of the broker i use is xness and the link is in the description below so click on the link it will direct you to their website for you to sign up and they are very very fast and very reliable so join them right now and thank me later the broker is a financial service company and they provide you with the access to a platform for buying and selling foreign currencies they make it they make it very easy for you to participate in the forex market by giving you that platform where you can easily buy and sell foreign currencies Your broker also serves as a middleman between two parties. They serve as a middleman between two parties. So for instance, let's take for an example that you want to purchase something, but then you don't know how to go about it. And then you meet someone that knows, that has connections about these things that you are actually looking for. And you talk to the person that, oh, I want to buy this thing. And the person says, okay, I have a connection. I have someone that sells this thing. Then the person brings the person that sells it and then they connect you both and you, you guys make the transaction right the broker also serves as a middleman between you and another party between you and someone else that wants to sell something you want to buy and someone else wants to sell so the broker will connect to both of you and you guys will actually pay a commission for his service you pay a commission for the service so the broker serves as a middleman between two parties so by this definition, I hope you understand what a broker is right now. Also, a broker is the place where you deposit your money. Like I said, you have to deposit your money into the broker, in, into the broker account in order to start trading. Okay, so in order to buy a, currency, a foreign currency, but you have to have money in your account, right? So yeah, so that is just the basic um, definition of a broker. And there are functions of these brokers. And I'm going to give you a couple functions of a broker okay so first of all i'll tell you the first function of a broker is the execution of trades because first brokers they execute buy and sell orders on behalf of their clients they're going to execute the buy and sell order on behalf of you they provide they provide the necessary infrastructure and the platform for you to make it easier for you to you know engage in the foreign in, in the forex trading the next one I'll give you is the market access. Brokers will give you the access to the interbank market. The interbank market is the top level foreign exchange market where banks exchange different currencies, where major currency trading occurs. And this also includes providing you with real-time price quotes and market data. The next one is leverage. Back in the days, in the 19, early 1970s or before, before, before 1970s, we as individuals were not able to participate in the forex market because of the huge amounts, the huge capital you need in order to, you know, buy or exchange currency pairs or participate in the forex market. We were not able to do that because of the huge capital involved. But because of the brokers, when the brokers came in, they made it easier for you to participate. So leverage is just by is is when a broker allows you to control large positions with small capital. You'll be able to buy large currency pays, exchange large currency current currency pays with just a little capital. So you can have a ten dollar in your account, but you control positions worth of one thousand dollars or more. 
The next one is, is educational resources. Forest Brookers, they offer training sessions, they, they, they other training sessions, the other webinars, they give you educational content, uh, materials to, in order to improve your trading skills and also your trading knowledge. The next one is risk management. Every broker will offer tools like stop loss orders, limit orders, margin calls, just to help you to manage your risk. And I hope you understand the functions of the broker. These are what they, 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 they will do for you. This is, these are their functions. The fundamental functions of a broker and there are more but i just listed out this few in order to save time so i'll go ahead and talk about the criteria to consider when criteria to consider when choosing a forest broker so the first one is regulation to ensure that the broker is regulated you have to ensure that the broker is regulated by a reputable financial authority because regulation they help protect you as a trader from fraud and it also ensures that the broker adheres to certain standard of conduct the next one i'll give you is the trading platform the broker should always offer a reliable and a, a reliable and a user-friendly trading platform with essential features like the chatting tools technical analysis and the real-time price feed like the real real-time price quotes the next I'll give you is the spread and the commissions. Okay, the spread and the commissions. Like I said, you have to pay your, your broker a commission for their service. That's how they make their own money. You have to pay a broker. So most brokers, their commissions can be very, very high. Why most brokers, most brokers, their commission can be very, very low. So you have to choose a broker that their commissions are low, they are spread is also low the spread is more like the, the difference between the bid and the ask price so you should always consider these things before you choose a broker also also consider the customer service of a broker the customers the customer service should always have the quality to support their traders including availability they should always be available two for seven their responsiveness should be of good quality you know the the ability to resolve issues swiftly fast very fast the next is the deposit and withdrawal options you know some brokers they can be very very fast when you want to deposit the requirement to deposit should will be very fast for some brokers but when you want to withdraw your money it will take you ages before you'll be able to withdraw your money after making profits in the market before you start withdrawing your money to start taking you three business days, seven business days, 21 business days, 30 business days, which is very, very boring and very, very sad. But when you, when you want to deposit, it will take you within one minute. In less than one minute, you'll you, you be able to deposit. You don't have to verify your account before you deposit, but before you withdraw, you, you, you have to verify your account, which is very, very sad. It doesn't make sense, right? So you have to ensure that your broker requirements for deposits and withdrawals is very very fast mostly withdrawals okay so you should also choose a broker that is reputable a, a broker that has track record a broker that has been in the game for quite a long time all right so i hope you guys are able to learn one or two from this lesson and i if you are you know feeling a little bit confused you should rewatch the video over and over again and I promise you you will you can understand that okay you can understand that this thing will be anything you just have to you know put your mind to be dedicated to the craft and just stay true to yourself and with time you'll be able to understand it okay thank you guys for watching and please subscribe to the channel turn on your post notifications so when I whenever I drop the next content you will be notified okay thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.